Good evening. This is CTV News for Tuesday, September 3rd. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Makia Turner. Glad to have you with us tonight. A small plane crashes near Route 50 and Church Road yesterday afternoon, sending three people to the hospital and snarling traffic for hours. Our Tahira Christman is in Bowie with more. Smears of what appears to be blood, shard glass and debris is all that's left after that single engine plane crash yesterday. Witnesses say they saw the plane go down, then back up, and then down again during liftoff from Free State Airport, nearly clipping cars on westbound Route 50. <laughs> Seconds later, the aircraft slammed into this wooded area directly across the street from the airport. Three people were injured, including the pilot, but Assistant Fire Chief Alicia Francis says it could have been worse. The good thing about it, the first person on the scene was a actually a pilot who came across the uh, he was actually at the airport heard about the crash he jumped the fence from the airport and ran across all lanes of traffic to get to the the occupants of the the aircraft he was the first one the initiated aid What's amazing about it, not only is he a pilot, he's also a medical doctor. Two men, including the pilot, were flown to shock trauma in Baltimore. A female passenger was taken to Prince George's Hospital Center immediately after the incident. We haven't received anything um, forward for the three, three passengers as yet, but we know from what we transported them, there was, again, two were in critical, one was in serious. Owners at Free State Airport declined to comment about this incident, but officials say a similar incident happened just last month. Certainly there was another plane crash there just uh, approximately two weeks prior. Uh, also cr landing from, taking off from that airport and they wind up landing into a, the, right across the, air, the, air, the runway into the cornfield. In Bowie, Tahira Chrisman, CTV News. There is no word yet on the suspected cause of the crash. According to the Federal Aviation Administration records, the plane was a fixed-wing, single-engine aircraft licensed to a resident in the district. President Obama says he's confident Congress will authorize military action against Syria and says he's willing to work with lawmakers on a specific resolution. Some legislators say the U.S. should not get involved in Syria. Others question whether the administration has proven that Assad's government fired chemical weapons at Syrian rebels that left thousands of people dead. Two Maryland congressmen say they support the call for pres the president's call for military action. In light of the chemical weapons that have been used, a, a weapon that has been uh, against international norms for uh, a century, uh, which uh, 188 countries have said uh, should not be used, uh, and that the use of those was a war crime, uh, that uh, inaction uh, would be, uh, I think, a very, very bad message for us to send. Clearly, the use of chemical weapons, we cannot stand by. We have to respond. We have to take action. But it needs to be focused at dealing with degrading Syria's capacity to use chemical weapons in the future. And I think the president understands that, and he's bringing this mission to the Congress. I think you'll find that Congress will uh, reach a consensus to allow the president to respond as it relates to the, the chemical weapons. House Speaker John Boehner announced today that he endorses military action in Syria and has asked Republican colleagues to support a strike as well. Congress is not scheduled to meet again until September 9th.